Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Ooh. In Ravnica Legions I'm a big fan of black. Orzhov and Rakdos are nice decks to be in. Prime Speaker Vanifar does feel like a bit of a trap. If I were tryharding, I would probably take the Ors of Enforcer here, hoping to wield Grasping Thrall. But uh, since we're streaming, I guess we'll take the Vanifar and try and make it work. Can hope to wield Hybrids, Guild Gates. Don't think the Guardian's gonna be here, maybe Essence Capture. Steeple Creeper would also be fine. So we'll try it and then uh, hopefully we can build a sweet Vanifar deck. Had we taken Ors of Enforcer, we would maybe take the final payment here. Lots of Azorius cards, Skyguard, Depose Deploy, Knight Arbiter, all pretty good. And we could easily go three colors with Vanifar if we pick up enough mana fixing. So I could see like a Skyguard being a decent curve topper to kind of search up with Vanifar. Or we can splash Vanifar, like it depends. Skyguard definitely makes for a better splash card than Vanifar does. So I think I'm leaning Skyguard over Arbiter. Uh, they die to Grotesque Demise, Skyguard dies to Skewer the Critics too, Skyguard dies to Summary Judgment, whereas Knight Arbiter doesn't. So the Skyguard being a 6 mana 3-3 three, three is definitely pretty vulnerable. So I don't think the card's amazing, but it's it's definitely powerful. The effect is definitely very impactful if they can't remove the Skyguard. Yeah, let's take a Skyguard. Ooh, Minister seems like the perfect creature to sacrifice to a Vanifar. If we were on the Orzhov path, we would have gone Enforcer into final payment into probably Ministrant, hoping to wheel Grudian, Inheritance, Revels, Payment, or Guildgate. Sorform Hybrid is also tempting if we want to just be blue-green, splash white for Skyguard. But uh, the best Vanifar card by far here is the Ministrant. Frilled Mystic seems good. Uh, the mana is going to maybe be a bit tricky on the Frill Mystic. Could also see just taking the gate to start uh, fixing the mana. Could be that we end up blue-white splash green, in which case the Mystic doesn't really fit into the deck. Savant would also be okay as a 2-drop to sack to Venifar. So the Frill Mystic definitely jumps out the most, but I could see Guildgate being the actual correct pick if we want to build around Venifar the most. It's only the fourth pick. There's a chance we can wheel Guildgate or open the gates. So probably still take the Mystic. Sphinx's Inside, Chillbringer, and Guildgate are all considerations. Even the Simic Lockets would be okay if we're base Simic. Splashing White for Ministrant and Skyguard. If we're splashing White, Sphinx's Inside is still okay, but definitely gets a little bit worse. Chillbringer's always going to be okay, and it's also something we could potentially sack to Venifar to get our Skyguard. And we're definitely blue no matter what here, I think, so... It's definitely the most likely to be relevant in the deck. Let's take a Chillbringer. Um, now I could take a Sphinx's Insights. Don't think Titanic Brawl is going to be great, or creatures seem rather small. Prying Eyes, Bring to Trial, also reasonable. Gateway Plaza, I guess, also consideration. If we're going to go three colors, do need to pick up some mana fixing at some point. Let's take the Plaza, I guess. The seventh big grasping thrall hurts my soul. Sky tether could be okay removal if we're planning to win with flying creatures. And eighth pick slime bind seems good, kind of for the same reason as sky tether, if our plan is to win in the air. Steeple creeper maybe, but it could easily be blue white splash green. We're not going to play mystic and just splash vanifar. Wield the hybrid, so maybe not. Man, we also wield the Grasping Thrall, so our Orzhov deck would have been pretty stacked. We could have had two Thralls already. Yeah, the bots don't take uh, some of the Orzhov cards highly enough. Thrall and uh, Blade Juggler definitely come to mind. But uh, hybrid could be fine. I don't think I want Grow Spirals, just not consistent enough. Savant wields. 
think I'm okay with that. Just have some two drop we don't mind sacrificing. Alright, so first bank is kind of janky, a, a little bit all over the place, trying to build around Vanifar. But that was the mission statement, is to build around Vanifar. Could have had a totally fine Orzov deck if we wanted to win. I've got a lot of options here. Guild Mage, Spirit of the Spires, Acuity, Judgments, Aeromonculus, Guild Gates, Lockets, Fairy Duelists. This doesn't look like an amazing Acuity deck. Most of our non-creature spells are like enchantments. Probably don't want to first pick a Guild Gates. Aeromonculus looks good. I could be still blue-green splash white for just a Ministrant and Skyguard and maybe a Sky Tether. So the Aeromonculus definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, Guild Mage can also be fine, but it's definitely one of the worst Guild Mages overall, as it's a bit slow to get going. Let's take Aeromonculus. Second Skyguard, probably gonna take the Law Mage's Binding here as an excellent removal spell. The Pose Deploy is also great. Mm, Azorius Locket, another Aramonculus, Hybrid. A lot of good cards. So yeah, so far the white cards, Sky Tether, Ministrant, Binding and Skyguard. They're all relatively splashable. They're not cards we need to play early. Minister and maybe an exception there. So blue-green could still work. In which case, I'm a big fan of hybrids. But Aramonculus is also close. That is true. Ice everywhere can be kind of a weird removal spell. Can steal the opponent's uh, inheritance, for example. It is kind of slow. Uh, six mana plus three mana, it's a nine mana investment. Scry one, of course, in the meantime is kind of useful, but then the opponent gets to scry one. Not a huge fan of it, but uh, it's definitely playable. I think I would rather take a creature here, though. I think I'm leaning Aramonculus, hope we can wield the hybrid. Even the Brush Strider would be okay in this deck. Fairy Duelists would also be good. Hopefully we can pick up one later. Oh boy, Blade Juggler, Bell Haunt. There is also Colossus. Only have one gate, so wish we could have uh, picked up some more in the meantime. Gate Colossus is a great win condition. It's that or Fairy Duelist, I think. I think I prefer Duelist over second Slime Bind just to have, again, more creatures we don't mind sacking to Prime Speaker Vanifar. Probably gotta go with Colossus since we don't have a ton of ways to close necessarily. It's just a good card, and then we'll start taking gates more highly. Hopefully wheel one of those duelists. Alright, take one now, I guess. Insights may be also good, but we don't have a ton of fixing, so it's still on the splash. Take an eel, I guess. Open the gates, can find the gates. Sure. That's a late acuity, but we don't have a ton of instants in our deck at the moment to really synergize with it, just like a Titanic Brawl and uh, a Prying Eyes, and that's it. So it's not great. Could see Steeple Creeper being fine. Uh, looking at the curve, maybe could use a Spider at 5 to kind of bridge the gap. But there's a lot of good 5s between Spider and uh, the Riot's creature in green. Don't think this is a great quench deck, although I guess we do have a couple adapt creatures that synergize with uh, instant speed counter spells. And we do also have a Frilled Mystic, but Shimmer helps us find Vanifar. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna end up playing the Junk Troller, it's just here as a placeholder. Eh, Brush Strider seems okay. Not gonna play any of those. Ooh, nice wheel duelist as well as slime bind. Which one do we want? Duelist is pretty decent. Yeah, let's do it. I 
Ooh, nice. Last pack. Opened Zegana to go with Urvanifar. Sounds good. Hope to wheel... A lot of good cards we could wheel. Drake, Slime Binds. Law Mage's Binding. Alright, definitely gotta take Simic Guildgate now. As much as I would like an Essence Capture. Just gotta take those gates. Yeah, might just have to take Azorius Guildgate over Senate Guildmage. And uh, I don't think I can splash all these white cards if we don't have a couple more gates. It's also good with the Gate Colossus. Guildmage would be a great card. It gets a little bit worse if we're splashing it, as we won't be able to play it early as a 2-mana 2-2. Two -two. But definitely a great way to kind of filter our draws in a late game, if we're flooding. And to gain a bit of life against the aggressive decks. Definitely a much better Guildmage than the Simic one. Yeah, let's take the gates. Another gate, that's good. Man, these play jugglers though. Engineer would also be decent. Got a couple expensive adapt cards. But um, I think the gate's still probably more important. Another Chillbringer would be decent. Hopefully we can pick up another five later in this pack. Right, love me a uh, Arrestor's Admonition here. How many Blade Jugglers is this? Is this like the fourth one? I guess uh, we're looking at a second Slime Binds. Alright, we have the option of Chillbringer and Drake. Small chance we can wheel Drake in two packs. Um, the one we opened. Chillbringer plays a little bit better with Vanifar. Drake is very good with double duelists. The tokens from Ministrants. Double Aramunculus. I think Drake might actually be better. And don't think we're playing any of these. High alert seems pretty bad in our deck. Did not wheel. Windstorm Drake did wheel Sphinx. But I don't think we can splash the Sphinx. Double white is a lot, even if we do have, I guess, uh, Vanifar that can search it up if we sacrifice a 3 drop. So probably take the slime bind over it. Uh, Shimmer can go. I don't think Titanic Brawl is very good in our deck, but I guess we have a couple adapt creatures that could fight. And then we got to ask ourselves whether these white cards are all worth splashing for. It's possible that we don't need Sky Tether, and I can just get away with Triple Slime Bind instead. Just don't think the Sphinx is going to make the cut anyway, so I guess there's no point in taking it. And not playing two Savants. So yeah, I think our Ors of deck probably would have been better, as usual, but uh, this could be fun. And indeed did not see a ton of other gates. So glad we took the ones we did. Um, I have four gates and an open gate, so the Colossus should be okay. And then, what are the weakest cards? Sky Tether Scuttable. Savanta Scuttable, since we seem to mostly attack in the air to win the game. So any, like, random ground creature could uh, be cut. Probably still want a Skater Eel just to have a bit more synergy with Zegana. And then Prying Ice could be a decent way to refuel. Could also play 16 lands plus open gates. Even though our curve is kind of on the higher end. So if we cut these. So right now I have four, five, six, seven, eight ish blue sources. Could be okay. How much green? Eight as well. So I think I can afford to go minus one planes. And then maybe plus one forest or just play something like this where we have three, four. Essentially five white sources for like three white cards. 
and then um, we have more green so we can cast open the gates more reliably because with every planes it becomes more difficult to cast thrilled mystic basically this is kind of our interaction good chunk of creatures and then how does a curve look like for Vanifar? Duelist we don't mind sacrificing gets Ministrants, gets potentially Zagana or Skitter Eel. Um, if Zagana, I mean Zagana we don't really want to sacrifice. Skitter Eel I guess we don't mind too much. Can get a Chillbringer which can get a Skyguard. So that's a decent chain. And then our win condition is mostly flying creatures with Windstorm Drake to kind of pump them up. We've got a big Zagana that can win. And uh, we've got Prying Eyes to kind of refuel. Gate Colossus can also win the game. And the removal is mainly Slime Binds. Alright, seems okay. 16 lands plus an open gate. Maybe a bit on the greedy side. Could see playing uh, just 17 plus open gates. What is our Flood Protection? Got a couple Adapt Creatures, not too many. I guess we do have a decent chunk. Two Hermunculus hybrids, Skitter Eel and Zagana, so we have like five Adapt creatures. And then a Prying Eyes, so maybe I don't need to be greedy and I can play 17 plus open the gates. Yeah, let's try this. Seems reasonable. Gotta try and ambush with the duelist here. Might see Grotas demise in response. Right, that worked out. No spectacle. So they might have had a blade juggler they wanted to play. No white yet for the Ministrant, so we're not doing a whole lot in the meantime. Slowly building up towards Colossus. They could have been afraid of a counterspell there, but I'm not going to keep pretending we have one, I don't think. I could attack with Duelists, since I have Aramonculus to block, although... Let's say they kill Aramonculus and then Spectacle next turn, that's not great for me. So I think I'm okay chilling. Our win condition is Gate Colossus, which tends to close out the game by himself anyway. There's the mice. So they must have drawn that for the turn. This could be a Blade Brand if they attack. Still not too much action. Don't have a backup gate to get Gate Colossus back. But they're also not doing much. So next turn we can play it. They probably have a final payment in hand at least. Hopefully no bring to trial. Otherwise, if I wanted to play around Bring to Trial, could have uh, kept Colossus in hand until we can also add Munition at instant speed. Final payments. Alright. That's fine. If we find a gate, we can get it back. There's a throw, which I'm happy to slime binds. And uh, can get back Gate Colossus right away. So I can draw the Gate Colossus or I can put it on top. Um, does Orzhov play anything that could mill me? Can't think of anything. They could have Discard. So I think it might be better to Admonition and then play the Guild Gate as opposed to the other way around. Okay, 
They could kill their own creature, I guess. Final payment number two. So we don't draw the card. Sure. Works for me. Take action. And we'll pass. The Thrall does block my 1-1 one, one tokens quite well. And eventually they can maybe chump block with it and get it back with uh, Dead Revels. But for the time being it's neutralized. They could have a third final payment, I guess. Those do have diminishing returns, so typically don't expect uh, more than two. But yeah, they have a third, which explains why they're not doing anything. Opponent splashing reds. Uh oh, if this is for the mythic enchantment, we're in trouble. I think I'll keep land in hand in case we pick up Prying Eyes so we can discard it. Could be a Grotesque Demise, which exiles the Ministrant and doesn't give us the tokens. Alright, second Demise, so lots of removal. Triple Payment, double Demise. Yeah, that happens. That's not bad. Yeah, Captive Audience is the enchantment I'm thinking of. But they could be splashing for all sorts of reasons. More removal. And right, just cycling a Blade Brands, fair enough. We've got uh, two more gates at least in the deck. That we could draw, plus an open the gates. That's not bad. Could see a deal three to a tapped creature. Just don't want to run into another grotesque demise on hybrid in response to adapting. Alright, just another blade brand. I guess I'll adapt. So, like the upside of keeping up mana is Potentially having slime binds, don't really see it being useful. Or pretending we have a counter spell, which doesn't matter too much, I think. Ah, let's get in there. A little surprised they cycled this, since they could have potentially traded here. Well, it looks like we both drew a lot of lands, my opponent even more than I did. Alright, sweet. Well, we didn't see any of our prime speakers in that game. But, uh, Skyguard was good. And lead with guild gates into plaza and then we'll have a couple options yeah i think i still want to set up my mana before playing a termander up against the gruel 
Um, probably want to hold on to admonition to bounce something a bit more expensive. And I don't need to worry about spectacle as much. Of course, there's a couple red spectacle cards, but a lot less uh, important than stopping a blade juggler. All right, well, there's one spectacle card. All right, pretty efficient turn for them. It's too bad. Don't really want to trade this Terramander, but I might have to. And we've got a Prying Ice to refuel in the late game. That one I'm okay bouncing or slime binding. Or what I could do is just trade, slime bind the boar, and then take it from there. I mean, I could also block and then slime bind the goblin, so I keep the Terramander and still kill goblin. Goblin is probably scarier than the boar, but I also don't have a great blocker for boar in my hands, like Drake eventually, but it's gonna take a while. I think we just want to protect our life total at all costs. So let's add Munition. If I draw a tap land, I can play it. What just happened? My opponent cloned all their creatures. I could go... Aramonculus plus Slimebind backup. This is going to hit for three. I can block this. If they attack first, then I have Slimebind backup as well. Seems better to me than playing Windstorm Drake. So now I'll block the boar, which forces them to use a sort of trick. Whereas here they could just bump. And then we can slime bind in response if needed. Ooh, this could be a dagger caster instead. If they're fine to let damage happen. And if they dagger caster me, that's a bit unfortunate. Could also be like a scorch mark or some other burn spell. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll let it happen. Gotta keep slime bind for Irinx. Yep, and there's a dagger caster. I do care about savings Agana more than the Windstorm Drake, I think. So I could see playing Drake, because I can say Gana plus slime bind anyway. And this can go in front of dagger caster unless they have a trick. Trading for Goblin, not the best, so probably want to hold on to the Drake. Nah, smash. So that's fine. Had we played Zigana, it also would have died. And I think uh, Zigana is going to be a bit more important here, going late. But we are down to 9. So don't have infinite time here. Just going to grab a forest. So can't block the goblin. Hopefully we can stop dagger caster and then the prying eyes can help me take over. If they have another smash, we're dead. It just sends the goblin, that's fine. But we are down to seven. Point still has a lot of cards in hand. So they could eventually go wide. Duelist is a great draw, though. So reason to adapt right away is if my plan is to block Erynx. Uh, and they had, like, um, Titanic Brawl, for example. But it's more likely that I'm going to need Duelist plus Slimebind this turn. 
So this could go very well for me if my opponent uh, gets aggressive. All right, so let's uh, think about this. This pumps toughness as well. So what I could do is put Zagana in front of the Erynx and then use Duelists. Of course, I could also technically adapt, so they have to have something of substance. They could also like have another Skewer to just burn me out. In which case, I think the play would be Zagana in front of Goblin, Slime bind Erynx and then Duelist to prevent damage from Daggercaster. And if they have some other trick, I could maybe Duelist here instead of the Daggercaster anyway. Let's try this. The downside of this play is that it doesn't completely kill the Erynx and it could still come up later if they give it plus 3 plus 0. So in a sense, killing it off with Zagana could be better. But now I'm also forcing them to pump Goblin if they don't want it to die. And then we get to Duelist them. Alright, so now adapting Zagana seems pretty good. I guess we can pass and maybe Prying Eyes instead. Could attack for one. I think uh, I would rather play it safe here. Keep Duelist back. Thanks, Bane Beasts. Sure. Yeah, maybe I should Prying Eyes here. Look for more creatures, more interaction. Well, that definitely counts. So I guess I can discard land and... Might just be the hybrid. And then I can just sit on my Mystic, adapt Zagana if they don't do anything, eventually Gate Colossus to help us close. Yeah, we'll counter that one, I think. It's potentially manageable, but uh, I also just kind of want to get this Frilled Mystic in play. Now I could attack with Zagana. If they block, I can adapt. If not, I can just play Gate Colossus and still have enough blockers back. Sounds reasonable. It's no great reason to keep lands in hand at this point, since we have already cast the Prying Eyes. Skidrail's good, so 6, 7, 8, now they could potentially trade off for Zagana, uh, but they can't with the Colossus unless they have something, so let's just send Colossus this time. And that's a Tutron Clock as well. And it looks like they do have a trick maybe. Just a chump. So now they can double block Gate Colossus with the Beast and Acrobats. Of course, if we draw a gate, we can get it back, and it's still a trade I'm pretty happy to make, I think. So what happens if I send Eel, Zagana, and Gate Colossus? Eel, they can chum block with one of these, but it also tramples thanks to Zagana. They could potentially take quite a bit of damage, and then there's a chance they can kill me on the way back, so I do want to play it a little bit safe. 
So maybe just Sensei, Gana, and Colossus. And then they can trade off for both. Uh, probably put the Acrobat first. As that can also trade for Skitter Eel. reasonable shape. Opponents looking at their graveyard, maybe to see what they can still draw. Ooh, no, never mind. For Genesis, get two creatures back. But they can't play them this turn. Another duelist, that's great. So, can get pretty aggressive. Opponent packs it in. Alright. There was a pretty timely fairy duelist there. The turn they attacked with everyone. Alright, sweet. So 2 0 so far. No Vanifar yet. So hopefully that'll happen soon. This is better. Probably bottom the Skyguard. So I could guarantee a turn for Mystic if I don't play turn 2 hybrids. I think I'd rather still play the hybrids. Opponent had a pause with one white mana, so maybe the arresters... Uh, or what's the plus 2 plus 2 for one mana? Um, Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have a turn for Mystic regardless. Potent on Boros so far. Not something you encounter very often. Alright, Mardu. So it could be Ragdos Splash White or Orzov Splash Red. Rubble Slinger. Fair enough. If they block, I'll adapt. Otherwise, we'll just keep up Mystic and adapt end of turn. Could see Grotesque Demises. Could see them block and use a pump spell. We saw them maybe keep up in the first turn. And then we can fill Mystic it. Yep, there's the Arrestor Zeal. Try and counter that. Could also have a Blade Brand, I suppose. Yep, alright, they had both. At least that's still a trade. If we draw land, we can adapt hybrid, cast Prying Eyes, still a binding in hand, so we're in reasonable shape, but uh, they do have a lot of cards in hand. Hero. Alright, that's a good card. I would be okay trading for my Mystic. And Law Mage's binding not too effective at stopping it. Think I'm okay adapting. Put our life total under more pressure. They can probably chum block with tokens in the future. Maybe some spectacle happening. Secure. Okay. And bring to trial. Ouch. Well, that was a very efficient turn. Alright, well, now we're not in such great shape anymore. I guess I could Prying Eyes main phase. 
could draw like a gate I want to play. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep up uh, a counter spell, quote unquote, here. a lot of spells. Uh, Steeple Creeper can gain flying, so that's a good way to close out the game. Probably don't need the second slime binds. Duelist is great against the Infiltrator, so it could be double slime bind discard here. Sure. And then I want to play Creeper, keep up Duelist, does that make sense? Because it does entice them into attacking with both still. I guess maybe our homunculus is still fine because they would still maybe attack with infiltrator. And then I can still duelists. Thrill, sure. That one we can binding. Could also duelist and then ambush the hero and trade for infiltrator, that's also fine. I'm gonna sag the 1-1. One, one. Alright, so I can't uh, block. I think I take it and then I'll binding the Thrall, attack with Creeper and then can maybe duelist the hero. And there's Vanifar. I guess we'll play Venifar. Can sack Duelist, get a 3-drop. Not sure which ones are left. Both our homunculus are gone. Creepers in play. Yeah, we do have Ministrant. That's a good one to get with uh, Venifar. So that's maybe happening. Could also upgrade Creeper into a 4-drop or just play Eel, get a Chillbringer. A Zagana still in the deck, so we can also get a Zagana, although we don't have any plus one counters in play to draw a card. So we have a lot of options here. How about I hit for one with Duelist, get Ministrant, and then next and then this turn play Skitter Eel. And then next turn I can adapt Skitter Eel, get Zagana draw a card, and have a 5 5 trampling eel plus flying binds to maybe get past the uh, scavenger. Kind of like that idea. Could also hit for five and kill them in two turns, but also want to keep some stuff back. I don't know. I think we're going to be in fine shape either way this game. Oligarch. Infiltrator. Probably sacrificing Oligarch. So they can shove my flyer. That's fine. Take three, I guess. Could just slime by now. But then I don't get to slime by and scavenger if they block. I'm a little worried about this Footlight Fiend plus maybe a, a Blade Brand though, in which case I don't want to attack on the ground. Could also sack Eel, get a Chillbringer, tap down the Flyer, give this flying, hit for four, and kill them in two turns. Maybe that's better. Let's try this. Avoid taking too much damage. Terramander is also not bad. Kind of like the aggressive Chillbringer line now. Try and get them in the air.
And then we have Ministrant that can jump Scavenger. Do they just want to sacrifice something? Alright. One damage. Can kill Terramander, I guess. That's fine. Secure. Alright. They're still dead on board if we attack with everyone. So let's do that. I'm sure we could make a fancy play with Venifar. But this seems good enough. Alright, so far so good. Alright, looks good. We'll need some creatures to sacrifice to Venifar. Could just get a gateway plaza that we have both white and double green in case of like a frilled mystic and I don't have anything going on next turn anyway. All the slime binds. If they blade juggler me, I can attack into it and slime binds. Otherwise, we'll play Venifar. Alright, could be summary judgment, maybe. So. If we wanted to play on Summary Judgment, what I could do is... I guess never mind, I can only use Venifar at sorcery speed. So I guess we'll attack into it. Final payment instead, fair enough. Ooh, Duelist, that's nice. I guess if I want to get value out of my Vanifar, I need to play Duelist now. I can get a 3, which means probably Minister isn't the best one, just to keep sacking stuff. And then I might just end up uh, using Slimebind on the Messenger here, we'll see. No, not summary judgments. Now I'm sad that we didn't get uh, Aramonculus. I guess they used final payment to re play around a pump spell or they drew summary judgment for the turn. Otherwise it made more sense for them to judgment the uh, Steeple Creeper last turn, which is also why I didn't really play around it. Alright, we'll do this. Scare Eel. Don't have any good attacks. Now I want to adapt before attacking to play around another Summary Judgment. I guess Grotesque Demise is also potentially an issue here. And they're probably going to trump anyway. So I guess there's no reason for me to adapt. Unless they take it and then I were to adapt and they would have summary judgments. But then I can just deal three and pass. I could always attack with Ministrant if I want to stop the 1-1 from pestering me. 
can probably wait still. This is a race we're definitely winning. Opponent did just find their blue mana though. Alright, makes sense. Alright, and those are two pretty good cards. So the card I want to actually put the binding on is a Terramander. Because Slime Binds would still make this into a 1-5 if they adapt. But it works out a little bit better if I want to attack with Ministrant if I'm binding the Chillbringer because then I get to hit for 2. And I guess a 5-5 Eel still gets past the Termander. That's a good draw. I would like to play it. Can I afford to? Probably just take a hit from Termander. Alright, I guess at least they're not adapting, but this can be good for us. Keeps two on top. Sagana's a great draw. I think this is okay. If they block Ministrant with Pegasus, I get a bunch of 2-1 flyers. Alright, and I also forgot uh, Skiriel now tramples thanks to Zagana, which is also a pretty big deal, of course. Alright, I'll pass. Keep one land in hand in case of Belhaunt. Uh, hopefully no Kaya's Wrath, I guess. Alright, there goes our Trample. I mean, I could Slime Bind. It's actually funny. can Slime Bind my own Zagana and then next turn Adapt to still make it relevant. Could actually be the play. And that way the eel is still Trampley. Troll. Opponents up to three, six, seven toughness. Lands. So I can adapt Sagana. Four, so I've got nine trample. They seem dead to me. Alright, level up. So far so good. Deck's definitely playing out quite nicely. Although we haven't um, played against any insane decks from our opponents yet. Um, I could see going Terramander plus open the gates this turn. There's also an argument for just getting another basic land in case we need to curve out. But uh, more gates for Gate Colossus can also be good. Let's go a little Terramander, or should I even? If they have a Fairy Duelist, I'm going to be very sad, because then I need to Slime Bind it. So maybe I should wait. 
Just play Plaza for now. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, summary judgments. I mean, they're gonna get the Terramander at some point. It's mainly the duelists. Ooh, high alert. Oh no. <laughs> We've got double slime bind against high alert. This doesn't do anything against high alert. Uh, this is bad. Two of our cards in hand suddenly don't do anything. <laughs> More cards that are ineffective against high alert. No. Our only weakness. Yeah, high alert's pretty effective against us as it turns out. Yep. I can use the Brawl with the Steeple Creeper to kill Pegasus at least. That's decent. I think I'll do it now before they get uh, the chance to interfere and also get to attack with Terramander that way. And I guess maybe next turn I can adapt uh, Terramander. I think I'll take it since Skyguard kind of blanks the Orator. That one at least only deals two damage. So land would be appreciated. Otherwise we can't really do much other than I guess give Creeper flying another six mana play, not what we needed here. Alright, got a pass and then uh, I guess give Creeper flying to block Senator Griffin. Doesn't feel great. <laughs> well, our slime binds are useless, but the opponents aren't. Well, this does technically stabilize us. Although we only have 8 life to work with. So gotta dodge uh, more bounce spells, I guess. Alright. Pretty much forced to block. Rally, ouch. Well, they had the Wombo Combo. High alerts and Rally. The one instance where Rally to battle is a good card. Well, we had uh, two dead cards in hand, which didn't help. So let's try again. Not amazing, but probably still a keep. Leading with uh, Forest, I think, in case of Frilled Mystic. Opponent looks to be on maybe a gate stack. Yep. Okay. I guess I'm not playing any creature this turn. Just get a gate. Uh, Simic seems fine. Uh oh. Inheritance is kind of scary. Can't frill mystic, so I guess we'll eel. Too bad. A 
Law Mage's Binding is the perfect answer for that one at least. Good admonition at first, just to make them replay it. I think that's probably worth it. And then maybe we'll draw a land. No lands, eh? Their deck does seem a little bit all over the place. Alright, it's pretty effective. Although we didn't have the mana to adapt that for a while. Start by attacking. It's tempting to adapt first so we get to draw a card next turn, but maybe I don't have the time to and I just need to play this 4-4. Four four. Yeah, let's just deal 4. can finally keep up Frilled Mystic, but I might need to Duelist here so we don't uh, die to the Inheritance in the meantime. And if I keep both back that seems pretty bad too. So yeah, let's uh, attack with both. And then um, probably just end up using Duelists. Could also double Duelist to kill it. Might be the play here, we'll see. Now it might be okay to keep up Frilled Mystic over playing Skyguard and then end of turn I can adapt our Homunculus. Yeah, I think so. Ideally I get to counter something here, so we get to put the Mystic in play. So they could be dead if they don't have anything, because I get to adapt their homunculus hit for eight. Alright, sweet. That was a, an interesting game. They had an unusual gate deck with only Colossus as their payoff, maybe they didn't draw more. Alright, five and one, let's keep it up. Haven't really felt uh, the need for extra lands. Currently playing 16 plus open the gates instead of uh, 17. Alright, that one makes for a great ambush target for duelists. So I'm tempted to just play land and pass instead of playing creeper, although they might keep Savan back to block Creeper and then I can attack and still make the same play. So maybe I do still Creeper here. Yeah, sure. Alright, they're on Creeper.
All right, so we've got a few options. Uh, don't hate Admonition for now. Could have a Counterspell here. I guess Slimebind gets around Quench, whereas Admonition doesn't. Could also just jam Vanifar. Yeah, it's Admonition. Sure. Doesn't get to eat anything. Alright, so now six land means hybrid could adapt, so they would probably put eel in front of creeper, and then we can slime bind plus Venifar. Seems good. Incubation Druids could be scary. All right, um, we've got a lot of options here. Got to think about all the possible cards we can get with Venifar, including our six drop if we're willing to sack Windstorm Drake, but I don't think we are. Uh, I could sack Duelist to get our three drop, which makes a lot of sense. And then just adapts Sorform Hybrid, and then next turn I can get Zagana to draw a card. Start by attacking. And I'm okay adapting. And then the two tokens plus Windstorm Drake are going to be pretty sweet. Alright, Pwn's got a ton of mana for next turn between Engineer and Incubation Druids. Not sure what uh, trick they might be keeping up. Guess I can see if this resolves first, playing a land to play around Quench, although I kind of want to keep land in hand for Prying Eyes. But yeah, I want to get Zagana, pretty much. I guess I'll just do it now. See what I draw off the Zagana trigger. Hoping that they don't bounce the hybrids, but they probably would have done that sorcery speed. Wow, repudiate the trigger. Alright, that's the first time this has uh, come up. Fair enough. I guess no Zagana for me. Kind of surprised they took it. Alright, sweet. Well, Vanifar, if unchecked, can do some cool things. Bam. Alright, on to the final boss here. Did not necessarily expect to get there with this deck, but we do have some powerful cards. We haven't played against uh, most. Uh, Insane draft decks I've ever seen. Definitely plays a role too. And uh, this is a bit of a sketchy one. Only two lands, a lot of expensive cards. On the draw, I would maybe keep this. But on the play, we need to draw a runner runner lands basically for the rest of the game. This is a bit better. And um, not sure what I should bottom. If we're up against like an aggressive Rakdos deck or Orzov, then the duelist can be very useful. Skitter Eel 
and Aramonculus both have a positive interaction with Frilled Mystic, so maybe I just need one of them and I'll bottom the eel. Alright, no double green yet. Opponents playing a similar Dirtle deck. I guess I'll run it out. Alright, that's a good draw. Given that we have a flying creature, we're not super likely to use Duelist in a relevant uh, manner. Ooh. Well, as far as impactful 3-drops go, Ram is uh, definitely up there. Do have shields up now. Can adapt Armonculus if we don't need to Mystic. But we're not necessarily winning the race. Alright, now we might be. That was a very good uh, start. Turn 2 Duelist, turn 3 Armonculus, turn 4 Mystic, turn 5 Drake. Even have a couple of gates if we draw Colossus. Clear the mind is not gonna cut it here. All right, sweet. Well, that was uh, quite a beating. So nice 7-1. The only deck we lost to was the high alert deck that kind of hard countered our removal spells. So yeah, overall pretty fun draft. Got to activate Venifer a few times. So mission accomplished. And we avoided drafting Orzov, which is also mission accomplished. Crack some packs. Alright, sweet. So that's gonna wrap things up for today's stream. Wanna thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.